We have another update on a WECT investigation. This is on the continued sawdust pollution issues near the state board. Tonight, neighbors may finally have a solution after years of battling with wood pellet companies. WECT's Ava Brengord is continuing to follow this story tonight. Ava, the state is now enforcing and making the two companies take action to stop the dust they produce from blowing into nearby neighborhoods. Right, and this has neighbors breathing a sigh of relief, literally. They've complained that the sawdust has been a nuisance, causing health issues since the facility opened eight years ago. Now their prayers may finally be answered. It's a problem Ivy Miller has fought against for years. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody on this neighbor in this neighborhood is affected by it. Sawdust blowing from wood pellet manufacturers and Viva Biomass and Basaga International onto her home near the state port in Wilmington. All we want is to have a breathable neighborhood to live in without having to worry about what we're actually inhaling. Across the street in Sunset Park, Ed Foraker is concerned for his health. Then you walk out and you see this in the air. What's the health implications of this. But relief is on the way. After months of complaints to the Department of Environmental Quality and our own reporting, collecting samples, taking pictures, even installing an air quality monitor, the DEQ is now requiring both companies to take action to capture the dust. In an official notice to Inviva, the state will require the company to put a dust control plan in place. It follows a similar notice to Basaga back in April. Attorneys with the Southern Environmental Law Center call it a win. That's the biggest lesson here is education for the community that if you make enough noise, hopefully something will be done to help. We all band together and as a neighborhood, I think we're doing doing good by our neighborhood. What gives me relief is that they acknowledge, the DEQ's acknowledged it and they started to do something about it. Miller says the fight for clean air is worth it. You know, even if it's just a drip in the bucket, when it keeps dripping, it's going to overflow eventually, and that's kind of what it feels like right now. So it's it's kind of empowering. Now, we reached out to Inviva for a comment on how the company plans to implement their dust control plan. The statement we received says, quote, we received DEQ's request and will continue to work in partnership with the agency. And Viva remains committed to the health and safety of our people and local communities, end quote. Now, according to state law, Inviva has 60 days to submit its dust control plan. The DEQ says Visaga's final plan will be announced in the next few days. April Bringort, WECT News.